Helix. Logan, can you start us off with a high-level overview of this study comparing students who learned via lecture versus active learning instruction? Our experimental design was, let's take some physics students, put half of them in a class where they get active learning, put the other half randomly in a class where they get traditional lectures, and we tested them at the end of the class on how much they learned. And we also asked a survey question about how much did they feel that they learned. So the big results were, Unsurprisingly, the students with active learning learned more. They did better on the test of learning. What was fascinating is the students in the active learning classroom, they felt like they learned less. Yeah, so I think I was surprised by those results. Could it be that active learning experiences tend to put students on the spot in a way that makes them uncomfortable? Yeah, in the paper, we do advance three possible reasons why the results turned out the way they did. One, the fact that fluency plays a huge role in the fluency of delivery. That's basically the perception that students had, how clearly the information came to them. If you know a little bit about the literature in cognitive psychology, it is not that surprising that our result turned out the way it did. And in fact, there's a term that's been advanced by uh, Bob and Elizabeth Bjork at UCLA. The term is desirable difficulty. They've noticed over the decades that if a technique is going to be effective, that is, it's going to lead to good outcomes, that technique will be associated with a certain amount of desirable difficulty which naturally the subjects or the students will respond adversely to, at least initially. Do these findings suggest that we have this communication challenge ahead of us in convincing both students and faculty of the benefits of active learning? Yeah, Eric, I think that's exactly right. We actually tried an intervention in another physics class that uses active learning, where at the beginning of the semester, we actually presented them with basically the data from this paper that said, hey, look, students learn more with active learning, but you know, we just did a study that shows that sometimes students can be misled and they feel like they're not learning as much. By presenting this evidence to the students, we found that by the end of the semester, their perceptions of active learning and their perceptions of the effectiveness of this were much more favorable, much more positive.